what does for me, for my curiosity, uh, because I'm just an, a layman when it comes to production and making movies, what does a producer do? Mm-hmm. We understand what a director does. What does a producer do? Uh, well, producer's going to be a, a catch-all phrase that gets used a lot. So it's a great question to ask because some people are financial producers only. Um, there's people who are line producers who will put together the budgets for the things. Um, there's, you know, people who are like physical producers, which is how I got started putting together call sheets, finding crew, keeping budget tight, scheduling meals, staying within like our 10 or 12 hour work days, handling locations, getting permits, shutting down streets, like the more like tangible trained, like producing like i could go to mgm and be like i'm a producer i can like produce a fucking like put a script in front of me i can break it down i can tell you how many days it's going to take to shoot i can tell you about how much money it's going to cost to shoot and i can do all the paperwork to shut down the streets find the locations i can recommend crew i can pretty much do everything but direct it and i can still even and when i'm directing i only direct i don't direct and produce so that's the thing it's just like understanding the line um so it's a kind of a general manager of the movie yeah it's a general contractor for a movie so a general contractor building a house and getting the plans and getting the permits and hiring the right teammates the plumbers the roofers getting the cabinets and picking them out with the homeowner right it's like a lot of that stuff comes into play too it's like me and the director are going to go check out four different bars in town see which one we like the best to shoot at and we're gonna like that yeah a producer's kind of like a co-director too even though there's co-directors uh, it's like because you're but you're no because no, you're t- but they, you and the they director. would hate it if it, they would hate any sort of agreeance on that okay. co-direct directing is so it's so related to the actors and how they're performing but that, you two are tied in at the hip for the movie though, i would right? never tell an actor how to do anything and on the set that i'm producing i would i'm actually i have had performance feedback once or twice but i'll tell it to the director and then let the director tell it to the person if they agree with it but i try to stay and i let them be trusted in that lane because if they aren't then after the movie they go on facebook and say this dude hovered over my shoulder and told me how to do everything and now my movie sucks because of them sounds like like that's happened Nah, it's never. It, I've I've seen it happen. Not not with my. Projects. It doesn't go well. No, it doesn't at all. You and like, even with the directors guild, like high level directors, because um, that was happening like pre internet, not eighties, nineties, um, and even before then, is they would get a director to do a movie, then they would lock him out of the edit room, and then put their name on the project, and they would be mad. And they would have no platform to be like. I did not direct this. This was not my movie. But Don't now they have the platform. It. But now they do. So I think like, um, not a recent example of that, but everyone wanted to see the Snyder cut. People like director's cuts when they follow specific directors. Um, I know like Soderbergh was recutting um, some of his projects over uh, the quarantine. So there's like a lot of just like, filmmaker filmmakers who like making projects who don't care about the money who know that they're talented but also won't get screwed because they know they have been screwed right so they're kind of like the necessary they're necessarily looking out for themselves so there's a clearly defined role between production a producer and the director mm-hmm. but you have to work 100 percent and have a symbiotic relationship oh yeah yeah yeah. that's who you're working i mean like in a traditional like pre-production office for like movies of budgets our size like a director will be going over um shot listing and storyboarding with a dp and i'll be you know making copies of dailies and calling uh you know if we have an extras coordinator i'll be calling the extras coordinator to coordinate extras if I'm the extras coordinator, I'll be calling the extras. Um, sounds, like just, a, sounds like a lot of extra work. There's just a lot of layers. Yeah, exactly. There's just, it's I do whatever needs to be done. It's like being the CEO and the janitor. You're picking up lunch. You're picking up trash. You're jump starting cars. You're just doing whatever. We're, and you're trying to keep a smile on your face because this is what you like prayed to do. Like prayed on my worst days in life that I just wanted to make movies for a living. So.